which dua you've made. For as long as there is no sin in the dua, sin in the dua meaning, oh Allah, um, I'm planning a robbery, make it easy for me. Ah, that's sinful, okay? That's sinful. Oh Allah, I'm planning to commit this. Uh, well, you're not going to tell Allah I'm planning to commit this sin. But I want to do this. Uh, help me so I don't get caught. Uh, 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 uh. If there is a sin in it, we don't talk about it. It's not there. If there is qati'atu rahim. Qati'atu rahim means, the, listen carefully, the breaking of relations. If you're making a dua to facilitate the breaking of a relation, it's rejected. According to the hadith. It's not going to work. That's why I said, you're cursing your child, it's rejected. It can't happen. Not from you. But if it is deserved, it may. And that's why the hadith says, when a father prays against, against his own child, it's accepted only if it's deserved. Only if it's deserved. You're really, really harassing your folks, your parents really badly. And one day they say something nasty. It could be accepted. Because you were so nasty. That's why. But here I am telling the parents, don't do that. Because you know what? Could be the moment of acceptance. And inshallah, your child could be turned to the right direction.